Well, welcome back to Loaded Landscapes. My name is Simon Plant. And today we're going to look at the HSL sliders within Lightroom. So welcome back. We're now in Lightroom. Um, I've created this um, panoramic, although I have cropped it down slightly, uh, from some raw files that I shot the other evening um, in this uh, field with a really nice sunset. And um, we're going to basically go into the HSL sliders. That's the hue, saturation and lightness, which can be found over here in the develop module. And uh, I'm going to show you how we can use these sliders um, just to help kind of increase the color contrast within an image like this. This time of year, especially, I'm talking mainly in England here, um, things start to get very, very green and almost too green. And sometimes um, you want to kind of separate some of the color somehow. You, you can do that in, in a couple of different ways. One of the ways you can do it is to you, uh, use um, a lab um, a color mode, which is quite an, um, an advanced technique. It can get very, very techy, and I haven't mastered it at all over the years. I know a little bit, but the other option is in within Lightroom, especially if you shoot uh, raw, you can use the, use the hue, saturation and lightness sliders that we're going to use today to help us kind of separate some of those colours a little bit and uh, get the image looking exactly how you want it to. Before we progress, I should just give you the health warning on this. As with many things in Photoshop or Lightroom, if you push things too far, you're going to end up with trouble. Uh, things will start to break down and it'll end up looking like a dog's dinner. So you've got to be a bit uh, constrained and be a bit careful how far you push things. So uh, that's the health warning over and done with. So first of all, we're going to go to the hue um, section. And as I said, I want to try and separate some of this grass at the moment. It's all looking very green, and I just want to kind of see if I can add a little bit of color contrast in those. So we're mainly going to be concentrating on the green and the yellow sliders here. So the first part here, the hue, will adjust the kind of tint of that color. So for instance, in green, we can either go a bit more yellow, as you can see from the image, or we can add green and make it go really kind of luminous green, which looks awful. Um, with red, for instance, we can go a bit more orange with red, uh, or a bit more sort of kind of more raspberry looking uh, end of the spectrum. And then we've got orange, which goes with more yellow or more red end of the uh, colours there. So they just it's just a balancing act between the two, and not all the colours are going to be fully present in the image. But I can be sure that orange and yellow are definitely there. There's not much red in the image, uh, if any. So there's no point sliding that. You can also use this little um, target uh, here by uh, clicking on that. You can actually drag this over the image up and down to adjust the uh, settings that way. Um, I don't tend to use that because I just think it's uh, a little bit clumsy looking. So um, I'm just going to hold down the Alt key or Option key and just reset those settings. So again, let's get back to what we're doing with this image. And that is to adjust the uh, colors in the greens a little bit. So I'm going to... I'll grab my green slider, which I think is obvious. I'm going to add a little bit more green into the crops here. If we go too far, it's going to look very false. So maybe around 18, 20, somewhere like that. I'm then going to grab the yellow slider, the hue slider, and have a little play around with that. Now, obviously, keep an eye on this sun and the grass here. I'll just get rid of that scrubby um and just if you again if you push things too much it starts to look really weird okay so i want to said i want to just add a little bit of contrast in the grass and if you look along this edge here you can see that it's starting to come in around there but remember this is just in all the kind of yellow hue in the image so if we go too far we're gonna have problems with the uh on the horizon there with the sun so i'm just going to drop this down to around minus seven the next thing we're going to do is come into these saturation sliders and have a little adjustment with those. As we go through this image and move on to the luminance, things will start to uh, adjust um, overall. So we may need to come back into this U and other the saturation sections there and readjust them if need be. So next we're going to go into saturation. So saturation, once again, it's just a matter of having a little play around. Um, so 
we want to bring up, I've already adjusted that a little bit, but we want to bring up the greens somewhat, but again, I don't want to go overboard. So it's a juggling act between the green and the yellow. Um, let's bring the yellow, actually no, I'm in the wrong section there. Now you have to watch this because I've done this before. Let me just reset uh, that second. Right, okay, so the hue is set. What I want to do is click on saturation, and for some reason, I don't know if it's just me or maybe something in Lightroom, but I've gone to the All tab, okay, which gives you all the settings in a, in a nice long row there. Um, what I want is the saturation. So just make sure you click on it properly and just check it on it. So we're in saturation. Sorry about that. So now I want to go to the, uh, the green and see, just have a little play around. I don't want to go too far again. But I do want some nice saturation in the crops there. That's probably a bit too much, but we'll leave it there for a moment. Um, yellow as well. That's quite nice. So I'm going to uh, ramp up the yellow quite a bit, up to 22. Okay, so that's just kind of just to know kind of those two colours in saturation rather than adding saturation to everything. While I'm at it, I have got a little bit of blue coming into the sky here. So I'm just going to um, see if I can just increase that a little bit, like so. That's coming through. Um, I can also pop back to the hue and see if I can just add a bit more, like so. That helps a little bit. Okay, so back to saturation. So I think we're done in the saturation for now, but we may come back. The next one is luminance. Now, luminance is how bright the, those colours are within the scene. So again, you know, I can either darken the greens down if you don't want them too too uh, bright. So maybe just drop them down a little bit. So it's going to add that little bit of extra contrast as well as we increase other colours. And the yellow... If we go too far, it's going to get a bit washed out, so I don't want to darken it down any. Maybe bring it up a tiny little bit. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. You can play around with these other sliders. I'm going to bring the blue down a little bit to darken the sky a little touch. Just bring that, some of that colour contrast of the blue against the yellow. Again, go, don't, don't go too far, otherwise you'll get kind of a very funny transition in between the the warm of the sky there and, and the blue. So, uh, we can go back to you if we want to now. We can, this is where you may need to go back to the slide and just have a little play around. Um, I don't think we're too far off there, but, you know, it's worth having a little play. Well, I think that's fine. Somewhere around there. Again with the green. So I like that. So let's close this down a second and we'll have a look at before and after. So this is where we started from with this image and just by doing those very small adjustments within the HSL sliders, this is where we came up to so far. So it's quite subtle when you first look at it but if I just go back again let me just see if we can you can see we have added have added some color contrast there with with those sliders and just kind of separated the greens and the yellows a little bit like so so this is really just a just a brief overview uh, of the HSL sliders and just give you some idea what can be accomplished obviously the more colors you've got going on in the image the more control you're going to have over those with the sliders we've only really used three of the sliders um, in this image but uh, as I said have a play around with it and don't push things too far because that's when you're going to start having uh, problems occur in the image. You've got to be I've had a little bit of cons constraint with it all. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this video and it might give you a little bit of insight into the HSL sliders so that you can uh, use that as a platform to uh, kick on and have a little play around. And um, I hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.